Now, first of all, let me welcome you to Mind Your Investment.com. My name is Siddharth, and in today's video, we talk about seven stocks that you can buy before the budget of 2022. Now, you can do swing trading on them, you can do positional trading on them, you can also have it for long term. But this is for sure that you will get at least 15% return on all of these shares. Now, we all know what happened in the stock market. In 31st of December 2021, the market was at a level of 17,000. From there, the rally began. It went to 18,300. And from there, the global market was so bad that it pushed the Indian stock market back to 17,000 levels again all within a period of 25 days. Now, a lot of you might know this, that the reason for the fall was because the US Fed is tightening their policy. What this basically means is they are increasing their repo rate so that the inflation of the country can be adjusted. Right now in America, the inflation rate is at 7%. It is much more than what we have in India. So that being a superpower country, having 7% inflation rate is very bad for their economy. Hence, they are increasing the rate. Now, how does that impact the stock market in India? Now, because there are huge amounts of foreign investors coming from America, when the interest rate is increasing, they will have to pay a higher interest on the amount they have borrowed from America to invest in India. So to avoid that, they are just selling the shares right now and taking this money back to America and giving it to their government to pay off the loans. This is why there is huge selling pressure in the stock market, not just in India, but other countries where the US FIIs are investing heavily or has invested heavily. So without wasting any more time, let's quickly look at the shares in which we can invest pre-budget 2022. Now, before we start talking about the stocks, there are certain basic things that you need to understand logically. Now, in the Indian stock market, the market, although has been falling, the corporate results has been quite good. Yet, the stocks after the quarterly results were still being sold heavily. Why? Because these are favorite stocks of FIIs and DIIs. Now, when the market starts its rally going forward, maybe in 10 days, maybe in one month, these shares with good corporate results or December 2021 quarters results will be the first ones to start the rally. So this strategy is based around that. So the first stock on our list is HDFC Bank. Now, those who have been tracking the stock must know that in the last one year, the bank has not tried to break the level of 1400. This is a big zone of support for the bank. Why? Because FIIs and DIIs do not want this share to underperform. These shares like HDFC Bank and HDFC are held by all the mutual fund houses all over India. Hence, they do not want anything bad to happen in this bank. So if you want to invest for swing trading, you can take advantage of this bank. This bank, if you see technical chart wise, it is standing on a big zone of support, which is around 1457. On the worst case scenario, the bank might fall down to 1400 or 1350 levels, but that's it. From here, there is a higher chance of a rally going forward to 1700 or 1900. Because if you look at the results or report analysis by big brokerage houses, they said the target of this bank is around 2000 going forward in this year. Right now, the bank is at 1400. So this is the first choice for swing trading or positional trading, whichever you are comfortable with. And talking about the corporate results, if you go to trading view and click on this small box, which says E, which is the event box, we will get to see what was the earnings and revenue report of the company. So this company did a surprise in revenue growth of 4.04%, which is very positive. When we speak of earnings, this basically means sales. So the company's sales beat the market expectations, although revenue was almost in line with what the market has expected. So overall, this company had a very good quarterly result and it is expected to be the first companies in the next rally whenever it happens. Second bank is the Axis Bank. This bank has been uh, surviving even when the big market sell-off was happening recently. And right now, even today, it grew by a huge percentage from 712 rupees to 754 rupees when the quarterly results were announced. 
So the company had a huge growth in the sales section where there was a surprise of 13.86%, almost 14% surge than what the market has expected. And the revenue grew by over 1%. And that is also a big positive for the corporate results. So these companies are the first ones to do a rally whenever that happens. So if you want to take a swing trading position, you can take an entry somewhere here and exit at the all time high levels, which is 853. You will easily make 12% return on the stock. But if you want to be a positional trader, you can expect at least a target of Fibonacci 2.618 level, which is close to 891. So 891 is a possible target for this bank going forward. And you can hold the position till this point. Third company on our list is Infosys. Infosys had a very good quarterly results, but even after the quarterly results, it was being punished heavily because a lot of FIIs invest in this company. The company share price fell from 1942 all the way to 1720. And now it is standing on a big zone of support. Going forward, it can still fall down to levels such as 1650 and a bit lower than that around 1580 or 1600 levels. But this is a big premium company, which always does a rally whenever the market does a rally. So you can take advantage of that. Speaking of the corporate results, there was a surprise in the company's profits. The company sales were a bit low than what was estimated. It fell by 1.65%. However, when the market starts rally, the IT sector will also do well because you are combining banking sector with IT sector generally either banking sector rallies or IT sector rallies. So you're hedging your portfolio by taking positions in banking or IT sector. Another two companies that I would talk about is TCS. So let's look at TCS quickly. TCS has fallen by a small margin. It is resting at 3,769. The company's earnings were a bit short of what was estimated. However, the company's revenue was a small surprise. So again, this company can also see a good trend going forward. However, there is a chance that the company might fall to 3,650 levels. So watch out for that level. If you get the opportunity here, definitely you can take a position in this company. Talking about our fifth stock, which is Reliance. Reliance also had a good quarterly results where it beats the market estimate by 6.10% on sales and the profit was beaten by 2.23%. And the company right now is at a big zone of support, although another big zone of support is at 2260 rupees. So if you get the opportunity to buy the share at this zone, then totally take the advantage because this is again one of those companies which can grow by a small digit, but will give you an assured return all the way to all time high zones of 2766 zones. So you can take a swing trading position and book your profits at these zones within six months. All the companies that I mentioned within six months, you'll get these target. That is what all the analysts in India are expecting. Sixth company on our list is DMART or Supermart Avenues. This company is a great investment opportunity right now because the pandemic phase has ended and going forward, all their retail chains will start to perform like they used to pre pandemic. So there is a big opportunity of growth in this company, which we can see in the future. Hence, this is a good bet going forward. And very soon, as soon as the pandemic is over, which the global analysts expect is the last wave, then automatically the company's revenues and profits will start to increase. So the company right now is at a good zone of support. The earnings report, if you see, it met the estimate and the revenue was also at par with what was estimated. So again, this is a good opportunity to invest in this company. I would suggest invest in it for long term if you have the capacity. And finally, the last company on our list is Bajaj Finance. This company is again at its major zone of support. It is a big company. It can fall down to levels such as 6,500. But if you get the opportunity to buy into this share, this is again a big company which has always given good sales and profit figures every quarter. This might also give you a good profit going forward in the future for swing or position trade. Now, thank you for watching today's video. I hope you had fun watching it. If you want to learn more about technical analysis and fundamental analysis, then watch the videos that are available freely on our channel. 
But if you want to learn extra fundamental or technical analysis methods, like how to accumulate stocks for long-term strategy, swing trading strategy, day trading strategy, then definitely check out the technical analysis course that we have going where I do live classes with participants and we have a WhatsApp group where we talk about the shares that are right now creating buzz and can be a good swing trading or a day trading momentum. And if you want to learn about the extra fundamental analysis course, then we talk about top down analysis, bottom up analysis, sector rotation and play, how to choose which sectors to invest based on market situation, global factors, and how to create your portfolio, which is going to give you your desired return. We analyze individual portfolios of everyone in the class. We try to figure out what is the best stock based on the person's goal and the person's age. So this is how we do our webinars. If you haven't taken a part in it, try it, it's amazing. And if you want to learn about my track record in picking stocks, then watch my earlier videos where we spoke of escorts, we spoke of the banks, we spoke of the small companies like HFCL. All of them give amazing returns in the market, mop in laboratories, I can name so many stocks. So watch our old videos, see how amazingly we pick stocks using our models of fundamental analysis and technical analysis screeners with the Excel sheets that we have and pick the best stock for investment. So I'll see you guys in the next one. But till then, mind your investment. And before you go, don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button so that you get the latest notification of our upcoming videos.